Race three on the card is the first leg of the pick six, the all to come 81 handicap over 1200 meters. The first leg of the pick six due off at 13.45. One scratching here is number 10, Blaze of Silk. You can take out number 10, Blaze of Silk. And a couple of important form updates. Uh, so Warren, let's go through those first of all. Number one, Tambora. Ran on the 27th of August, over 1,400 metres on the poly track, running third, beaten two and a half lengths by Green Light to Heaven. Number five, Ramshan Downey Road. Same day, the 27th of August, ran second over 1,200 metres. That was on the poly track, and in fact, he ran second behind number eight, Give Me a Rainbow, who won on the 27th of August, has incurred a one and a half kilogram penalty. Number eight, Give Me a Rainbow. Uh, will now carry 55. So let's start with Give Me a Rainbow because we saw, uh, you know, Horse, uh, You Deserve It winning last week on Friday and coming out and winning again on Monday. So I had a chat with Carl Hewitson at the races on Monday and he said, in all likelihood, Give Me a Rainbow will run. He's come out of the race well. Uh, but uh, can he win two races in a couple of days? I don't see why not. He's, by Give Me the Green Light, his last win was impressive. Sean Veal, masterful ride, really just swept past them all and, and won a good race. So if Give Me a Rainbow had to win again, uh, it would not shock me at all. In fact, he's on my very short list. Big runner number eight, Give Me a Rainbow. But it's not as easy as that because uh, even Ram Chindani Road, who ran second last time to Give Me a Rainbow, got to have a bright chance of going one better. Clinton Binder's stables bang in four. Mishari number four is oh so consistent. Never runs a bad race. Warren Kennedy rides for his family. Good form, good chance, number four, Mishari. And uh, Desolate Road came from the clouds last time to beat so far. He's got to have a chance. Tambor is going to win his next race very soon. So there's plenty in with chances. And my value, Graham, before I hand over to you, is number seven, Edgar Town. I believe that uh, he's better than his last couple of runs. Very difficult race. They're betting four to one the field. The early week favourite is number two, Desolid Road, who came back to form last time. They're betting four to one, two, Desolid Road. Five to one, number four, Mashari. Five to one, number five, Ramshandani Road. Eleven to two, number eight, Give Me a Rainbow. But my top choice is number one, Tambora, who's been priced up at seven to one. He's won three races. He's a five-year-old son of Trippy. He's coming along the right way. Samanga Kamala gets on very well with the Justin Snaith trained runner. So I'm in the camp of number one, Tambora. Warren's picked out number seven, Edgar Town, who is currently priced at around eight to one as a value selection. You also can't ignore the likes of number six, Lord Wiley. So this is a very trappy handicap. The way I see the card, there are a couple of possible bankers later on in the meeting so certainly, Warren, you could do worse than go as wide as possible in this, the opening leg of the pick six. Absolutely. Even a horse like Water Rider, if you ignore his last run to Rocky Coast, when reported to be fatigued on that occasion, certainly would present himself with a chance. But I agree with you, it's wide. It certainly is wide. Try and, go, try and include as many as you can. You're quite right. So take note of the form updates. Give me a rainbow looking for his second win in a couple of days. Ramshan Dani Road looking to overturn. Uh, give me a rainbow. I like Tambora, Warren likes a bit of Edgar Town, but there are many others with chances. Go deep in the first leg of the pick six.